You want to know something that I absolutely just just drives me bonkers about people that create content on TikTok, whether they're just making content or if they are a TikTok shop creator and they're making videos. I came across this lady yesterday where she was complaining about how she does all this effort. She she goes and to all these her friends' posts and she engages in their stuff and, and she's noticing that on her account she's not getting engagement and she's just droning on and on and on and complaining and pl complaining, right? She's going on for like I, I think I gave up after like three minutes of it. And it was, it, there was no cuts. It was just her straight talking. She didn't do any jump cuts. It was very, it was very boring. I was trying to hang in there with her, but I got so bored. I've been making videos on TikTok for over three years. So I've, I've learned a few things. I don't feel like I'm an expert, but I decided to go in her comment section and give her some advice. I'm a very matter of a fact person. I'm a uh, IT is in my background, so I'm a troubleshooter. I just state things as they are. I'm just, I would just tell you what I think is wrong. So in her comment section, I put that she needs to learn how to do jump cuts and to cut out all of the long pauses and the ums in her video. And I told her, don't, don't do follow trains. I think follow trains are what got her in the boat that she's in because what happens is you follow other people and for a while there are people may engage in your stuff, but they really don't. So you end up spending all of your time going and helping them and then you feel like, you know, you're not getting anything back. You get resentful and you get kind of nasty. And um, I think I said one more thing. Oh, I said, watch your own video back five times before you post it. And if you're bored, your audience is bored. That's what I said. And I thought my tips were very, very helpful. I didn't say your video was boring. I said, watch your video five, five times back. If you're bored, your audience is bored. And I, I know she didn't watch this video. I recorded it and posted it. I know she didn't watch it back at all because this video must have been over five minutes long. I wrote back and she said, gee, Jamie, you sound like a nice person. And I wrote back and said, I hope that wasn't sarcasm because I, I was truly trying to help. And I thought to myself, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. If people just want to complain and they want people to do what they they want people to engage in their stuff because they engaged in their stuff. Like, I don't remember what that thing's called where you expect other people to do what you're doing. Um, I, my message to her was just get better. Get better at doing what you're doing. The, the key to winning here on TikTok is not going in selflessly engaging in other people's content and then hoping and praying that they're going to engage back in your stuff. The key to winning on TikTok is getting better at doing this, being willing to learn, figure out how to edit your videos better, figure out, figure out your hooks, figure out how to get your point across to your audience and to potential audience members, people that you haven't ever seen before, figure out how to grab their attention and be interesting. So don't be boring. And um, so I, I, you know what I ended up doing? I ended up deleting my original comment and then I blocked her because you know what? I don't want those kind of negative people in my life. And it, it just, you know, she didn't want it. All she wanted to do was complain. And she's not the only one that I've seen. I've seen other people say similar things. Like if you're somebody that has, you know, 20,000, 30,000 followers and you're only following like a handful of people, like I'm not going to follow you. And it's like, you know, oh, well. And you know what my response to always is to that is I am not going to follow somebody just because they follow me. I'm sorry. Some of y'all's videos your content is freaking weird and I don't want to watch it. So <laughs> I want to only follow people that I actually enjoy their content, not out of obligation. So that's, that's just my take. Maybe I'm completely off base. I don't think I am. I'm treating this now as a business and in order to be good in business, you have to get better at what you do. And you also have to not be begging and complaining to your audience to like you. That's, I don't know. That's, I just, that's just not me. And I don't think that's the way to be successful. So that's just my two cents. Good morning. It's Saturday and um, I'm going to go drink my coffee.